back to another vlog. I am starting off the vlog a little bit later in the day than I usually do. It's about noon right now. Actually, what time is it? It's 12 18. <laughs> so today is Friday. I have my main channel video up. I've been like responding to comments, going through that. And then also in about 45 minutes, I am doing a virtual panel with VidCon. And I'm actually moderating this panel and I really like public speaking. I've, I've done actually quite a bit of it, but I definitely do more like being a panelist than I do being a moderator. So I'm a little bit nervous, especially just because moderating a panel is kind of like more weight on my shoulders than being a panelist. Because if I'm a panelist, I'm really just speaking about like my own experiences, my own point of view. But if I'm a moderator, I need to be coming up with some good questions that the audience wants answers to and directing those questions and guiding the conversation. So it's just a little bit more work, a little bit more nerves, but I'm excited. So I'm making my lunch right now. So I have a nice full belly to fuel me through this panel. And then later today, Jess, who helps me film my videos, is gonna be coming over. And we are gonna film a part three to buying products from my followers, small businesses. And those videos are like my favorite to film. So I'm excited. It's gonna be a good day. Let's do it. I feel like my face is kind of puffy. Like my under eyes especially just, they still felt sleepy. <laughs> so I put on these little like under eye cooling gels and hopefully that like reduces the puffiness a little bit. But I'm thinking it's probably just cause I woke up early this morning. I usually wake up at like eight ish. Today I woke up at like seven ish. So not too much earlier, but I didn't go to bed till one. So not the best night of sleep, but like I said, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I wanted to wake up early, A, so that my hair had plenty of time to dry before the panel, B, so I could go to Starbucks. I got myself a tea to start the day, and C, so that I had plenty of time to, ah, my patch is falling. <laughs> There we go. What was I saying? Oh yeah, and then C. I wanted to have plenty of time to go over like my questions and my outline for the panel, make sure I am like 100% prepared and good to go. The panel is on podcasting, so I'm really, really excited. Hopefully I'll get to learn some stuff myself as well. But uh, I need to eat my lunch. I've got a Daily Harvest grain bowl here. I feel like I'm so boring with my food. I always eat like <laughs> the exact same things in every vlog. I am gonna make some lunch. I'm thinking I'll do my quinoa and sweet potato bowl. So here is my lunch for today. I have the sweet potato and wild rice hash. Let's go with sweet potato and wild rice hash. Sounds delicious, but you know what? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I'm gonna eat this, do my panel. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna take off these eye gels because they're just kind of like slipping and sliding all over the place. So hopefully I helped a little bit with the puffiness. <laughs> I need to change into like a more professional looking shirt than just this like graphic tee, but I don't want to look too professional. Like I don't want to go blazer like button down. I don't want to go like business lady, but I want to go like put together more like mature, but not like I'm trying to look put together. Ah! <laughs> Why do I overthink everything? Maybe this? I feel like this is kind of a good in between. Yeah, I feel like that's, I should have a necklace too. Maybe some earrings and I should put on some eyebrow gel. Okay, cool. Ready. Also, tell me why I just sprayed perfume on me as if the audience can smell me through my computer. I'm just excited. I'm just ready to do this. Okay, I'm gonna go upstairs, get my computer set up in advance, get my headphones in, and uh, we'll do it. All right, panel is a wrap. Steven was actually watching it yeah, live was... downstairs <laughs> on the couch. It was fun. It was yeah? really good. Do you think you it did, went well? You did a good job. Thank you. I was weirdly nervous. Moderating makes me more nervous than being on a panel. And it's fine to be nervous for that stuff. You just did a like live event moderation from your room. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> but yeah. I think it went pretty well. Yeah, no, you did really good. Thank you. I think waking up early so that I had like more than enough time for yeah. prep definitely helped. And uh, now I need to get into work mode. Well, I yeah. guess that, that was kind of filming mode. Yep. Filming mode. All right, everything is set up for filming. We've got the packages. We've got all the equipment. We've got the Jess. <laughs> All right, do we wanna test audio? Hello, I am Sierra and we are testing the audio because today we're testing the audio and testing the audio is all about testing the audio. So I'm gonna try and go up and down. Audio rolling, camera rolling. All right, small biz three, take one. All right, it is just about 6.15. We wrapped filming about 20 minutes ago, and now I just need to organize all this footage and send it over to my editor. There was so much footage for this video, and I'm still not done filming. We were filming in there for almost four hours, and there are still a couple products that I need to film myself trying over the weekend, like some press-on nails, like a really cool silk hair wrap scarf for protecting your hair overnight, a couple other things. I don't want to spoil too much, but there are some really, really cool and unique products in 
this video. Ooh, but you know what small business thing I do want to talk about on the vlog is we are gonna do today a little mini haul of masks, like face coverings, that I bought from black owned small businesses. So up until this point, I've had two cloth masks that I just like alternate between, but because I only really had two, I was having to wash my masks like pretty much every day. And to keep me from having to wash my masks so often and also to just make it more fun for me to wear masks, I decided to buy some really cool and fun unique ones. And so uh, in a sec, we'll head downstairs and we will do a little mini haul and unboxing. Okay, so I've got all the masks in front of me. We'll go through them real quick and I will link all of these small businesses in the description if you wanna shop any of them. And like I said, all of these are from black owned small businesses. Three of them are Etsy shops and then two of them are just their own website. So first up, we have Meraki handcraft shop and I picked two masks. The woman who runs the shop has a huge catalog of different fabrics that you can choose from. So the first one I got is this really pretty colorful like paint swatch one and the ear elastics are adjustable and it also has the nose wire so it'll give a nice secure fit. I'm not gonna try these on in this vlog because I haven't washed them yet but I'm sure you guys will get to see this in action in uh, lots of upcoming vlogs. And this one also has a pocket for an air filter which is super nice. And then I chose a second one in a different fabric. I wear a lot of blue and a lot of white so I thought it would be fun to have a cute little floral mask that corresponds with those colors. Again, with the adjustable elastic ear straps and the little nose wire. I feel like these are just so cute and it's gonna be fun to correspond my outfits to match them when I know I'm gonna be going out in public or running errands. I know some people prefer to just use the disposable masks or to just have one cloth mask that they wash every day and reuse. But I feel like for me personally, there are so many hard aspects of living in the midst of a pandemic. And and if for $12 I can make one of those things just a little bit more fun for myself, it's totally worth it. Okay, the next one I am so excited for because this is a Disney inspired shop. It's called Park Candy and they have a bunch of different masks that are inspired from different rides at Disneyland. A lot of them were sold out because they are very, very popular. So I now am signed up for their email notifications. So when more of these get back in stock, I think I probably will get another one, maybe two. But for today, I got a mask that is inspired by the Alice in Wonderland teacups. It has the adjustable elastic ear straps and just off first impressions, the material feels really high quality and thick, but still breathable. And it's very soft and smooth. So I feel like that'll feel nice on my face. And and it has a pocket for an air filter and even included two air filters. Also forgot to say, but this one does have the metal piece for a snugger fit around your nose and it was $19.99. Next up is Taylor J and I actually got a Facebook ad for these two-toned masks that they sell and I thought they looked so cool and simple and chic, but I could coordinate them with so many different outfits. So as you can see, I got two. These ones were a little more on the expensive side. They were $21 each, but you can definitely feel that quality in the mask. This one is in the color denim and khaki and it has the elastic ear straps. And then this one is in the color champagne and honey. And just FYI, just in case this is something that's really important to you when you're choosing masks, these ones do not have a pocket for air filters, but really high quality, really, really nice fabric. And I think the look of these is so cute. Next up, we have another Etsy shop called Lola Loves it. And I got this really, really cool, like multi-toned orange, red, gold mask. I feel like this is so pretty, so unique. Anytime I'm rocking something that's warm toned, I'm gonna be busting out this mask. This one also feels really nice. It has the adjustable ear straps and it does not have a pocket for an air filter. Oh, and I forgot to say the price, but this one was $15. Last, we have a, another Etsy shop called Hip Fruit. And I got this black and daisy mask that was $12.03. It has the adjustable ear straps. It has an air filter in it. This one definitely feels thick. So I might wait to break this one out until we get out of this heat wave. But I love the design of this. I think it's really cute, especially if I'm wearing a more simple outfit with just like a black or gray or white tee. I feel like this will add a really, really fun pattern to it. So these are all my new masks. I am very excited. Obviously wearing masks is important for public safety, not for fashion. But I think if there's a way that we can make it more fun to incorporate these into the new normal, our new life, our new world, why not take it and why not have fun with it? So if you want to see how 
how I style these, definitely follow me on Instagram for my weekly Mask It Monday posts. And if you're looking for some cute, fun, functional masks to protect yourself and protect others, check out these black owned small businesses. I will link them in the description. Really, really excited for these. So I am gonna go pop these in the wash so they are all ready to go for the next time I leave the house. And let me know if you guys liked this mini haul and would want more of these in vlogs. I feel like sometimes I order fun things like these masks that aren't for a main channel video or anything, but are still fun to show. And if you don't like it for the vlog, that's fine. I can always just like do it on Instagram stories or something. But let me know what you prefer. Okay, I'm gonna go drink some water, probably put my hair up, say bye to Jess because she's just about to head out, and then get ready for therapy. Okay, Jess just tried on one of the samples of the Confident and Kind pants. And Jess, be brutally honest, don't sugarcoat it for me. What did you think? I wish that I could have like a full bodysuit. Like I wish all of my clothes were made out of the material. Like, really? Chef's keys. Oh, I'm so glad. All right, bye Jess, have a good weekend. If you missed the last vlog, I announced the new product that we're working on for my Confident and Kind merch line. They're a pair of high-waisted flowy pants that I am so excited about and Jess tried them on for the first time. I'm so glad she liked them. I'm obsessed with them and I can't wait for you guys to see. All righty, I just finished work. It's like, what time is it? 6.50, so it's almost seven o'clock. So I had a little like, kind of a slow morning there, but I got everything done and I'm gonna go into next week really good, so. This has been a good day! <laughs> um, last night I cleaned out the garage, which was pretty exciting, so I think I have some things I need to finish up. I kind of made a corner of stuff I need to get to and I need to finish it, which will be nuts because that means our main garage will be like officially all done, which I've never owned a house and gotten the pleasure of saying that, so that will be pretty exciting. Also, Millennium Falcon update, this thing is going nice and slow. It's a ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. It's coming along. There's like rooms and stuff now forming, so we got the first like piece of exterior on there, I think. So it's coming along. I'm also slowly recording piece, bits and pieces of it, and yeah. Do you want to tell them my fun name for it? Sierra's calling it the Millennial Falcon. The Millennial Falcon. Waka waka. I was very proud of that joke. I don't know if I came up with that or if someone's already said that, but I thought it was pretty creative. I'm a cusper, so I don't know if I can truly call myself a millennial because I was born in '96. Oh, I was like, what the heck? Is yeah, so I was born in between Gen Z and millennials. So some some calculations put millennial ending in 96 and some put it 95. Some put Gen Z yes, starting in 97, 96. So I'm right on the cusp. You're a true millennial. Yeah. Because you're a couple years old. Some older than me. definitions will say different years, which is kind of interesting, but there's no like cut and dry answer. But I don't know if I would be able to call my Millennium Falcon a Millennial Falcon because I'm not a true, like, 100% full fledged millennial. But you, yeah. you got a Millennial Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Love you. Good morning, good morning. It is Saturday. I am all cuddled up on the couch. I've got Bella here, Bruiser right there. Steven was with us for a while, but he just went upstairs to play some video games. And I think I am gonna do the same. I don't have much on my to-do list at all for this weekend, either Saturday or Sunday. So I think tomorrow we're gonna do like a full pool day, just like chill mode engage by the pool for the entire day. And today will be like an inside chill day. I'll probably end up going in the pool, but I think I'm gonna have a really slow morning. I'm gonna stay in my pajamas for a little while. I got up and like put my hair up, brushed my teeth, did some skincare, but I didn't like work out or shower or any of that stuff. I kind of want to stay in my pajamas and have like that kind of morning. I should make some breakfast. I'll probably just have like a protein shake because that's easy. And I really just want to use this weekend as like a full, just chill out kind of reset before I get into another work week. I, I don't mind working on the weekend sometimes, but I feel like it makes the weeks kind of blur together. Oh my gosh, look at Bella. Look at her. Look at this angel. Oh, you done now? Okay. But I feel like sometimes when I work a lot on the weekends, my weeks just blur together and I never really get that chance to just reset and center myself before I go into the next week. And so I am so happy to have this weekend with like nothing going on. I feel like this is one of those weekends where if it wasn't for COVID, we would either like have a big get together or go on a little like weekend staycation or honestly, probably the real answer, go to Disneyland. <laughs> this is definitely one of those weekends that it wasn't for COVID, we would be at Disneyland for sure. But instead, we are gonna be chilling out. We've got a chill video game day today and then a cool pool day tomorrow. And I think, I think I'm not gonna vlog it because then I can fully just relax, reset. And I think that's something that's really important for me and also just really good for my mental health. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I've got a great weekend ahead of me and I will see you guys in the next vlog. I'll probably vlog Monday. So I'll, I'll probably see you in a couple days with a new vlog. Bye.